Good morning. I'm Chris Brown. I'm in the Mission Outreach Committee at Wrightsville UMC, and I have with me Ms. Nancy Fight Craig. Hello. Um, this morning, she and I are going to take a few minutes to talk about the the uh, Sun Run for 2020. Uh, first of all, I'd like to recognize Nancy Fay as the very first person to sign up this year. So I can tell, and we can all tell, she's a motivated runner. So we're going to talk through a, a few questions to uh, learn a little more about the Sun Run. So how many Sun Runs have you participated in, Nancy Fay? Well, I'll address this later, but it depends on when we think we start. It's either 22 or 28. Ah, okay. So given that you've participated in all those events, uh, can you share a little bit about the history when it started and, and the, the various uh, aspects of the Sun Run? Well, the first year we actually started was in 1990. Okay. And that's the first annual Sun Run shirt. And you can say it's even changed its name. It was the S-U-N, now it's S-O-N, which is more appropriate, I think. Yes. In 1996, we had Hurricane Frank. So the sixth year was in 95. And then we were able to take a little hiatus and came back in 1999. And this is our shirt from 99. And then this is our 22nd consecutive year. Perfect. So given that you've participated every time, what keeps you coming back? Well, I'm part of the senior games and our motto is you don't stop playing because you get old. You get old because you stop playing. And I started when this started with the Sun Run and I need to just keep going as long as I can. Perfect. Might turn into a walk, but so far it's still a run. Excellent. Um, is there some particular Sun Run memory that stands out for you? Yes, uh, early on, each of our packets contained a fort. And for those who are familiar with Tim Russell, he used to tell the story in his sermon from time to time. A lady passed away and wanted a fort put in her casket. It turns out this would be the reason she would save the best for last. So I always think about getting that fort for Sunday save the best for last in what's coming after we pass away. Excellent. Um, so you've already talked a little bit about your shirts. Um, we're asking people to wear their retro shirts. We're not having one specifically made for this year. So I'm wearing a retro minus one, but <laughs> obviously Nancy Fay here has uh, the uh, ultimate retro shirt from the very first one. So. Um, how many shirts do you have? I have 27. Excellent. And uh, is there any one that's a favorite? Yes, I think the very favorite would be when we changed our name back or to the S-O-N run, and that was in 2004. Yes. Prior to that, it was the S-U-N, as I mentioned already. So this was my favorite shirt, even though back then my hair was red and I didn't like to wear red, but something happened. So now red's just fine. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so do you have any training secrets for us that you could possibly share for uh, us more aspiring runners? Just put one foot in front of the other and keep going. Okay. I pass lots of people who say you're doing a good job. I said, yeah, one foot in front of the other still. Perfect. So I want to thank you very much for uh, taking the time to uh, talk with us and the best of luck on the run. Um, so just for information for everyone, the Sun Run this year is virtual. So you can run between the 10th and the 18th of October. You can run whenever you want, as much as you want to get the mileage that's your goal. And you can do it wherever you want. So in your neighborhood, or around the loop. It's just that we're not running together in one big group this year. Um, please sign up by the 9th of October. There are registration links on the church website, on the church Facebook, and as well in some of the uh, e-blast and e-bulletins. So we're asking everyone to sign up for three sponsors to, uh, to uh, contribute. Uh, this year our funds are being divided among the Methodist Home for Children, the Link Leading in New Communities, which is a uh, help group for 
recently uh, returned from incarceration folks here in Wilmington, or Help Up, which is a family assistance program among another church, many churches. So Nancy Fay, thank you again. You're welcome. Have fun when you walk or run. That's right. my motto. So uh, see you all out here running, maybe. <laughs>